Hello, look what we're doing. We're doing the jellyfish. And we're going to do her. Yes, it's a she. Uh, we're going to do her in glow in the dark. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I went to a place, Indianapolis Zoo, years ago. And they had jellyfish in a tank. And they had like a glow in the dark light thing on them. And they were so beautiful. Just gorgeous. And they were like floating around in the water. I was like, oh my gosh. So, I really want to do her glow in the dark. And I, the colors I picked, I have yellow green, which when I shine the UV lights on these, these were the two that lit up brightest. I mean, all of them lit up really good, but these were like the most bright ones. And then this one is gold. And then I'm going to put a few lot mylar flakes in her up here where I do the gold. And then I'm going to do yellow, green, and gold down and through here. So, I may have too much resin mixed up here. We'll see. I think I'm going to do the gold first. No. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do the yellow, green first. We're just dumping this in our resin. I'm using the ClearCast 7000. What resin we have out right now. Stuff can be very deceiving. You don't realize how much it shines. Let's see. Can you see the color there? Look, wow, right? And that's just for a couple minutes. After you do it for a while, it really lights up. I want to put a little bit more in here. Just a little bit more. I want it to be a little brighter. I'm going to pour these, pour this down here in this end. So how are you guys doing tonight? I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. I apologize for the upside down video last night, guys. Last half of the video was upside down, and I realized after uh, my video that I couldn't flip it because if I flipped it, then when I showed you guys the rotating base, it would have been upside down. So I was like, okay, what do I do? I don't know how to rotate just part of a video. I know you can, like, cut, and and I, I can do that easier on a computer, but I, on my phone, I just, I really struggle with that. Alright, now I want to put a little bit of this Mylar Flakes in with those too. Dump a little bit in here, not a whole lot. I think I'm going to put that in this part right here. It's going to float around in here. Which I'm fine with. Okay. So now, I'm going to take. 
take some more resin here. And I'm going to mix up the gold. And we're going to fill the rest of it up with the gold. So pretty. I think I want a little bit of my wire in this, in this gold. We're gonna have a sparkly glow in the dark jellyfish. some more here for you ain't even close to full he's not even close to full that's all right we still have more resin we still have more resin I debated I was going to use the blue and I took the UV light out and I took all the glow in the dark resin out and I shined the UV light on them for just a couple minutes and when I took the light away these were the two colors that were like really really bright there were a couple others that were okay but these were the ones that were like holy cow so bright all right I think we have enough mylar flakes I don't want to add any more Pour gold in here. I'm getting here. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Gonna be pretty. She, sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be pretty. Okay, let me scrape this out here. So we're going to mix in, this time I'm mixing some more of the yellow green. It's Friday night guys, y'all got any big plans for the weekend? Anything happening for St. Patrick's Day? Oh, by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. I forgot to say it earlier in the video. In the carousel one. So, if you guys are celebrating, what are you doing? Are you drinking green beer? <laughs> drinking Irish whiskey? Went to a neighbor's on Sunday for a little bit. She's just having a, her mother over and a few of his friends. And she's going to have some munchies. I won't hang out long because they're going to watch the race later. They like to watch the race and they scream and yell. 
and don't get me wrong, I like NASCAR, but they like really love NASCAR. Them, they're really into NASCAR, so I let them do their whole NASCAR thing, and I come home and. But yeah, we're gonna have nice little munchies and stuff that day, and hang out for a little while. She was gonna do corned beef and cabbage, but ended up being too many people, and she was like, I don't have that much corned beef, so because we weren't expecting that many. But yeah. Alright, I think she's pretty full. I think she is full here, guys. Alright. So. Make sure all this is good. Some of the yellow, all, most of the yellow is all sunk down in here. But. I'm going to see something here. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Can you see her lit up yellow and green, golden green? She's very pretty. Very pretty, guys. I do know that this pigment settles, but this is the back of the mold, so we kind of want it to, like, go to the front where she's going to light up at. Alright, I think she's done for now. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow night when it's time to demold her. And we will see how pretty she glows. Bye for now, guys. Hello, my friends. We're back. Time to demold. Demolding day. We love demolding day, right? This is so cool. Can't wait to see what he's going to look like on the other side. Probably pretty close to what he looks like right here. Alright. Uh, probably one of the easiest molds I think I've ever demolded. Very nice. Come right out to like that. And it's a nice heavy mold. It's not like a cheapy cheapy mold. Alright, so we're going to turn him over here. Okay, ready, drum roll. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Isn't he pretty? Oh, my goodness, look at this. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... We're gonna charge him here for a minute. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my UV light. I'm gonna put you guys on a pause. Take the UV light, I'm gonna charge him up for a minute, and then we're gonna turn my lights off and see how he looks. Alright, guys, I still have a light on in here, one little light, but it's kind of off to the side here. So we have 37 seconds. We're gonna move this. We're going to see how pretty this glows. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. 24 seconds. 23 seconds. We're in the final countdown, guys. It's the final countdown. Oh, I can't sing, so I won't. I promise. I can't wait, though. All right. Here we go, guys. Ready? <gasps> wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. <gasps> Do you see the glowing, guys? Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. I love it. Isn't he pretty? Look at him. Oh, that's so cool. Holy smokes, guys. Wow. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I did that in S colors. Wow. That's amazing. All right, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to turn lights back on for a minute. Wow, guys. That was something else, huh? I'll tell you what. That was impressive. Very, very much so. So, what I want to do, and I did it on my dragon. I hung him up. I'll take a picture of him if I think about it for the next video. But, uh, I'm going to put a sawtooth hanger on the back of him. He's too big to be a magnet. I did make this, uh, seahorse a magnet. I put two magnets on the back, two little ones. And he holds up just fine. I had one on him and he would, he would slide down whatever he was uh, hooked on to. But I bought these little sawtooth hangers. They come with screws. But I'm just going to super glue it on the back of him. Because super glue worked perfect for the dragon. And basically, you're just going to pick where you're hanging it here. Just like so. And then we're going to put... Drop a super glue right there. Perfect. We'll just let that cure or let that dry and he'll be ready to hang up. So if you guys haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you like the colors. What color would you do yours if you had one? I just think he's beautiful. He turned out so pretty. Uh, I do want to do some in different colors as well. My grandson wants a purple one. Um, I teased him because his room is really dark. He's always in there playing video games. I tease him because they have purple glow in the dark. I was like, Cody, it's never going to never gonna get charged because you don't ever turn on any lights. His room's like pitch dark all the time, so it would be it would always be a dark purple. <laughs> He's like, well, I don't care about the glow in the dark. I just want a purple one, so we'll see. Well, we got a lot of projects going on. I wanted to do the dream catcher next, but the, I have found, dealing with this ClearCast 7000, that it does better... On deeper pores it's a really thin resin very thin and for some reason on the thin pores it doesn't cure as well uh, it stays very flexible but on the deeper pores like this this is rock hard these are hard but they're deeper but see the little end right here right here and I mean I know that the thinner the resin, the longer it takes for it to cure. But, I have some that, you know, have cured for quite a while and they're still not super hard yet. So, I don't want to waste the resin doing the big dream catcher. So, I think we're going to do the Zodiac bowl with the lid next. We're, that's going to be the next one I'm going to do. And then, uh, I'm waiting on some more resin to come in. I've ordered some. Let's resin. Uh, I don't. I don't know. My friend ordered it for me because I'm doing some work for her, so she ordered it for me. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be here, but I don't want to use the Clearcast 7000 in the Dreamcatcher because it is very fine. The Dreamcatcher part, especially, is very fine. It's not like super deep pour. It's a very thin pour, and I want it to be a heavier, thicker resin. It sets up better, so we'll see how it goes. Because, like I said, it and the clear cat. I mean, the let's resin I got is for the thinner pores. This does better with the thicker pores because it's so thin that I can pour the whole frog and he doesn't. You know, I can pour him in one pour and it doesn't flash here. So same way with this. I did this all in one pour, and I mean it's not super thick, but you can see he's not like crazy thin either. So, but yeah, he's, see that's already set. 
So, alright guys, I'm going to let you guys go for now. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the description box below. As always, you can email me at marvelousartsy at gmail.com. I send me pictures of stuff you've done. I love seeing it. Uh, it's kind of neat getting to see if I've inspired you to do something and if you tried it and how it turned out. So, keep up the good work, guys. We're getting there. We're six, almost 640, I think, right now. So close to 1,000, guys. We are so close to 1,000. I can taste it. I'm just like, oh. My friend messaged me last night. She hadn't, I guess she hadn't looked in a while to see how how high up I was. She messaged me last night. She's like, holy crap, you're at 600. And I was like, yeah. Because I think everybody thought I was crazy when I started this. All my friends, they know I'm a little silly anyway. But I think they thought I was crazy doing this YouTube thing. Because none of them are that big into it. They don't really watch a whole lot of YouTube. They might watch a few things on there. But I think they thought I was silly when I started my channel. But I've stayed dedicated to it, and they've saw that, that I mean, I'm putting out videos, I'm trying to come up with new content, and I think they saw that. She told me, she said, I'm so glad you, you know, I'm so proud of you for sticking with this and doing something that you love to do, so, and I truly do, I love talking to you guys. Even though you're not here, I feel like you're here. Does that make sense? Alright guys, hope everyone has a wonderful evening, hope everyone is happy, healthy, blessed, and safe, if you have to have a resin project going. I hope your resin project cures beautifully. If you're working on any other craft project, I hope it works out just as much as you hoped and more. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.